So we've been going through a series of videos to build an Brick Breaker-esque app. In this video, we're gonna cover the last steps for colliding with the ball and the brick. Okay, one of our several bricks. So we have our brick list that we previously created. We initialized it in our initialize. All right, we added all the bricks. And now we're going through every brick. So for each brick in our brick list, we're going to go say, hey, is the thing I collided with the brick I'm looking at right now? So if the other thing that I collided, the ball collided with was a brick, then we need to bounce off our rectangle. Right? And so we just finished writing a procedure for that that bounces off the rectangle. So we grab that procedure, bounce off rectangle, and we say, well, what do we want to bounce off of? We want to bounce off the brick that we're looking at right now. Okay? And then once we bounce off of the brick, we also need to make it invisible and disabled. And since we don't know which brick specifically we're looking at, we can use our generic blocks again, any image sprite, and set the visible and enabled properties to false for this specific brick. So then our brick will disappear and it'll no longer interact with the ball. The last things we need to do is update the score and update the label that contains the score. So we want to add 10 points to the score for hitting that brick. So we want to break this down. So we'll say, okay, set the score. So we've initialized a global score to zero. And in our screen initialize, we set the label to the variable. Now we want to update, which means we're going to set the global score again, and we're going to add 10 points. And 10 points to what? Our current global score. So if it was 0, this will become 0. And we add 10. And this whole block will become 10. And then we store 10 in here. So then we want to update our label to contain 10. All right? So these are the pair of blocks that will allow us to add 10 points to the current score. All right? And then update what we visually display to the user. And we only want to do that if we actually hit the brick. So all of these blocks go in the then. There's no else because if we didn't hit a brick, we have nothing to do, right? If we hit the, the, the ball, the ball hit something else like an edge or the player's bar, we have nothing to do in this loop and we've handled that in other situations. So now we have all of the blocks to go through and it should have a Brick Breaker Lite app that acts similar to Brick Breaker. We're missing several features um, such as uh, levels, right? If you get all the bricks, you should go on to the next level rather than the game just continuing without any bricks. We could add things like velocity changes, right? So uh, when we push the paddle one direction, our ball should kind of spin that way, changing its heading slightly rather than having a perfect bounce as we've uh, coded it, right? So there's a few odds and ends changes 